Welcome to this Final Cut Pro 10 training. My name is Larry Jordan. This is part of Chapter 3 on Creating and Modifying Keyboard Shortcuts. The goals for this session are to showcase the extensive ability Final Cut Pro 10 has to create custom keyboard shortcuts, and this is a huge improvement over how we create keyboard shortcuts in Final Cut 7. This tutorial is designed to show you how to use it. Final Cut Pro 10 supports keyboard shortcuts which are shipped with the program, multi-touch gestures, and keyboard shortcuts that you can create for yourself. It does not support scripting or automator except in a very limited role. Also, Final Cut Pro 10 does not support creating custom buttons. I want to show you how to look up a keyboard shortcut or a shortcut group, create a keyboard shortcut in the command editor, save shortcuts into a command set, switch between command sets, export a command set to use on a different computer, import a command set from a different computer, and how to delete keyboard command sets. The keyboard command editor is accessed from Final Cut Pro Commands Customize Keyboard Shortcut is Option Command K. It opens up the command editor. Now this is an entirely different look to the customized keyboard commands we have inside Final Cut 7. Let me illustrate. For instance, let's say we want to find all the menu options that relate to editing. Click on editing, and this is all the different menu options on the left column, and all the keyboard shortcuts on the right column that are assigned to those menu options. Or you wanted to do organization, click on it, and all the menu commands are on the left here, and all the keyboard shortcuts are on the right. So one way you could find stuff is by looking at the group. In fact, look at the color code here. The playback color code is purple. And all the playback keys are purple up here, except they're kind of hard to find. So let's click this button right here. And notice how it grays back all the keys that are not related to playback. <laughs> I love this part. It helps you to see what the keys are, as well as color coding them. But it gets even cooler. Watch this. I want to look at all the Final Cut commands. I want to see what commands are assigned to the letter A. So I click on the letter A, and over in the key detail, the letter A by itself is the arrow tool. Command the letter A is select all. Control the letter A show hides audio animation. Shift Command A deselects all and Option Command A auto enhances the audio. So already I can see that I've got several opportunities to use a modifier key with the letter A and there's no menu assigned to it. Or look at the letter Z. Again, the color codes refer to these color groups over here. Or a very busy key is the letter R. That's been assigned to a lot of different activities. Well, if we look up here in the menu bar, Notice that we can see that keyboard shortcuts have already been assigned, but one that I'm really looking forward to using is this Move Event or Move Project, and there's no keyboard shortcut associated with it. Hmm. We need to fix that. So how do we do that? Let's go up to the search box up here and type the word Move. And all the different menu commands that have the word Move associated with it show up. There's six of them. But notice that three of them deal with removing stuff, which shows that the search actually does a search within the word. And notice that Move Event Project does not have a keyboard shortcut associated with it. Well, let's make one. What key would be a good key to assign to moving something? Well, the letter M. And if I click on the letter M, we've got lots of different keyboard shortcuts assigned to the letter M, but nothing for Shift Command. So let's move Move Event Project into that space. Select the menu that you want to turn into a keyboard shortcut. Select the letter you want to assign it to. And we're ready to go. Let's drag it over. So we drag it over and drop it right here in the gap. And when we do, whoops, we get a dialog. It says the command set default is owned by Final Cut Pro and cannot be edited. If we want to create our own keyboard shortcuts, we need to make a copy. So let's make a copy. And we're going to call this Larry's Shortcuts. And click OK. And there it is. 
that's our new keyboard shortcut. And notice up here, we've created a command set, which is our own collection of keyboard shortcuts. We can create an unlimited number of command sets. It's not a problem. This is what Apple ships. These are what we create. Just to prove this point, let's stay with Larry's shortcut and click the word Save down here, which permanently records our change in that command set. Now, when I switch back to default, nothing for Shift-Command-M, and go back to Larry's shortcut, and there's the shortcut I added. Now, you can customize as many keyboard shortcuts as you want, but I'm just going to customize one just to prove this point. The ability to search and find keyboard shortcuts, create keyboard shortcuts, is really cool. But watch this. Let's say I want to edit on a different Final Cut system. Select that which I want to export and say Export. And I'm going to say this is Larry's Shortcuts. And I can now save it to the desktop. Well, let's say I've already got one saved. I want to bring it in from a different computer. Here, we can import it. When I select Import, there on my thumb drive is Larry's Traveling Shortcuts. Right there, just highlight it. And I'll just click on Open. And it brings in that traveling command set named Larry's Traveling Shortcuts and click OK. And now look at what we've got here. We've now imported our own shortcuts into the command editor. I can switch back and forth between whichever command set that I want. This is very cool, but it's even nicer than that because if I click Close, if I go up to Final Cut Pro and go to Commands, notice there's my three command sets. The default that's shipped by Apple, the custom shortcuts that I just created, and the traveling shortcuts that I imported from my other system. I don't even have to go into the command editor to be able to select between keyboard shortcuts. I like this a lot. Keyboard shortcuts are accessed from Final Cut Pro, Commands, Customize. The keyboard shortcut is Option, Command, K. Keyboard shortcuts are a great way to speed the editing and finishing of a project. And while there are hundreds of default keyboard shortcuts, you can easily customize your own, save them to disk, switch between sets, and share them between different computers. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching this Final Cut Pro 10 training.